Good afternoon everyone. How are you all my dear students? I hope you all are fine and safe at home and enjoying your studies. So my dear students, as you all know, we are doing revision of FA2 exam. So in previous lecture, we have completed revision of reading of lesson number 3, A Day in the Jungle. Today we will revise, today we will read lesson number 4, The Dolphin and the Shark. So as you all know, before starting everyday session, I would like to tell you one quote. So let's see the quote that is, Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. Means, who never quit, who never lose hope. They are the real winners, right? So let's begin our reading session. So my dear students, you all are going to read with me, okay? Chapter number 4, The Dolphin and the Shark. Chapter number 4, The Dolphin and the Shark. So let's begin with our reading. Let's start. Reading. This is the story about... A shark and a dolphin. This is the story about a shark and a dolphin and about the magical experience that they have one day and about the magical experience that they have one day. Was it real? Was it real? Read and find out. Read and find out. Now you all will read with me. Okay. First I will read it and at second time you all will read with me. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There lived a shark. Named Simon, there lived a shark named Simon and a dolphin and a dolphin named Dudley. Named Dudley. They lived in the ocean. They lived in the ocean. Not too far from a beautiful sandy beach. Not too far from a beautiful sandy beach. They lived in the ocean. They lived in the ocean. Not too far from a beautiful sandy beach. A tall lighthouse and a dark murky swam were there on the beach. A tall lighthouse and a dark murky swam were there on the beach. Now, next paragraph. Now, Simon and Judley knew each other. Now, Simon and Judley knew each other, but they weren't the best of friends. But they weren't the best of friends. Judley had two sisters. Judley had two sisters and they played together and took care of each other and they played together and took care of each other they were very happy in the cool blue water they were very happy in the 
cool blue water. Now let's read meanings. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. A tower with a flashing light at the top to guide ships. A tower with a flashing light at the top to guide ships. Murky. Dark and dirty. Murky. Dark and dirty. Swamp. Soft and wet land. Swamp. Soft and wet land. Now, let's move to the next paragraph. Let's move to the next paragraph that is But Simon swam alone. But Simon swam alone. He had no brothers or sisters. He had no brothers or sisters and no one to play with and no one to play with. This made him grumpy. This made him grumpy and so he would spend his days swimming lazily, feeling sorry for himself and just being mean and so he would spend his days swimming lazily feeling sorry for himself and just being mean. Simon's favorite hobby was to attack Dudley and his sisters. Simon's favorite hobby was to attack Dudley and his sisters. He would dive deep in the water. He would dive deep in the water, lurking near the bottom, lurking near the bottom, and then and then when he saw the dolphins playing near the surface when he saw the dolphins playing near the surface he would swim as hard as he could towards them and try to bite their tails he would swim as hard as he could towards them and try to bite their tails. But the dolphins always saw him coming. But the dolphins always saw him coming and they would come up out of the water and they would come up out of the water stand on their tails stand on their tails and whistle and giggle and whistle and giggle they always managed they always managed to keep just out of reach of simon's big sharp teeth they always managed to keep just out of reach of Simon's big sharp teeth. Now let's see the next paragraph. I don't think Simon really wanted to catch them. Do you? I don't think Simon really wanted to catch them. Do you? Because if he caught them and ate them, because if he caught them and ate them, he wouldn't have 
any fun anymore. He wouldn't have any fun anymore. But you never know about sharks. But you never know about sharks. So Dudley and his sisters. So Dudley and his sisters were always on the lookout for Simon the Grum. So Dudley and his sisters were always on the lookout for Simon the Grum. One day, while Dudley was swimming by himself, one day while Dudley was swimming by himself and Simon was chasing him and Simon was chasing him, they got very close to the shore. They got very close to the shore. Dudley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him. Dudley leaped out of the water with Simon right behind him. And they both saw something very strange on the beach. And they both saw something very strange on the beach. There, leading out of the swamp, were strange tracks in the sand. There, leading out of the swamp, were strange tracks on the sand. Dudley stopped swimming. Dudley stopped swimming. And Simon stopped chasing. And Simon stopped chasing. Now, let's see the next paragraph. That is, They had never seen marks like that before. They had never seen marks like that before. I wonder if it was a duck-billed platypus, said Dudley. I wonder if it was a duck-billed platypus, said Dudley. I don't think so, replied Simon. I don't think so, replied Simon. I will bet it was a red breasted hairy headed knee walker. I will bet it was a red breasted hairy headed knee walker. But since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often. But since neither of the creatures were seen in those parts very often, they kept on wondering. They kept on wondering. They thought maybe it had been a big bellied widget gobbler. They thought maybe it had been a big bellied widget gobbler or perhaps a hooty snooty crawler. Or perhaps a hooty snooty crawler. But they just weren't sure what had made those funny large footprints but they just weren't sure that had what made those funny large footprints now let's see the next paragraph let's see the next paragraph that is suddenly they heard suddenly they heard something shuffling along the beach something shuffling along the beach. They could almost see it now. They could almost see it now. It was getting closer and closer. It was getting closer and closer. And then there it was. And then there it was. 
it was even stranger than anything they had thought of it was even stranger than anything they had thought of there coming at them there coming at them getting nearer and nearer getting nearer and nearer was a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and raggedy overalls was a great big green alligator wearing a funny hat and raggedy overalls and he was dancing and he was dancing well they thought this was the funniest sight they had ever seen but then they heard music well they thought this was the funniest sight they had ever seen but then they heard music now let's see what happens next music 2 and the music was getting louder and louder and the music was getting louder and louder and out of the corners of their eyes they saw and out of the corners of their eyes they saw oh it just couldn't be oh it just couldn't be there coming out of the swam there coming out of the swam was a frog playing a banjo was a frog playing a banjo and over there and over there walking towards them up the beach was a raccoon playing a fiddle walking towards them up the beach was a raccoon playing a fiddle and soon and soon the three strange animals the three strange animals were right in front of simon and judley were right in front of simon and judley the frog strummed his banjo the frog strummed his banjo the raccoon fiddled his fiddle the raccoon fiddled his fiddle and the great green alligator danced and the great green alligator danced and they were all having a wonderful time and they were all having a wonderful time here you can see simon and judley were flabbergasted simon and judley were flabbergasted judley clapped his flippers judley clapped his flippers and simon applauded with his fins and simon applauded with his fins they thought they never had so much fun they thought they never had so much fun the music and dancing lasted all afternoon the music and dancing lasted all afternoon the sun was beginning to set when the two musicians and the dancer started to go their separate ways the sun was beginning to set when the two musicians and the dancer started to go their separate ways the frog went back to the swam the raccoon trotted off down the beach and the alligator went 
into the rocks near the lighthouse. The frog went back to the swamp. The frog went back to the swamp. The raccoon trotted off down the beach and the alligator went into the rocks near the lighthouse. Now let's read the meanings. Now let's read the meanings. First is banjo. Banjo. A musical instrument that looks like a guitar. A musical instrument that looks like a guitar. Raccoon. An animal with a fox-like face. An animal with a fox-like face. Fiddle. A violin. Fiddle. A violin. Strummed. Here. Played the banjo by moving his fingers quickly along its strings. Played the banjo by moving his fingers quickly along its strings. Fiddled. Played on the violin. Fiddled. Played on the violin. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Surprised and shocked. Surprised and shocked. Applauded. Applauded. Praised by clapping. Praised by clapping. Trotted. Walked quickly. Trotted. Walked quickly. Now, let's see what is the next C. This is the image what we have read about that. Dolphin, shark, alligator, raccoon and frog all are playing here. Now, let's see the next. The shark and the dolphin watched them go. The shark and the dolphin watched them go and were a little sorry that the wonderful show had to end. Simone had been thinking especially hard about what had occurred. He had seen three very different creatures getting along well and being the best of friends. And he had seen himself floating side by side with a dolphin, both enjoying the same music and dancing. Simon thought about how lonely his life was, swimming all alone with no friends and being grumpy. And so he decided what he must do and he turned slowly towards the dolphin and swam very slowly up to him and began to tell him what he thought. Let's read the next paragraph that is The sun was a brilliant yellow as it came up out of the sea the next morning. The sky was a beautiful shade of blue. And if someone had been standing on the shore looking out over the water, they would have seen three dolphins and a shark. But the shark wasn't chasing Judley and his sisters. He was playing with them. For Simon had told Judley how tired he was of being lonely and grumpy. For Simon had told Dudley how tired he was of being lonely and grumpy. He told him how badly he wanted some friends. He told him 
how badly he wanted some friends and he told him how wonderful it had been to see the frog the raccoon and the alligator playing and dancing and being the best of friends and he told him how wonderful it had been to see the frog the raccoon and the alligator playing and dancing and being the best of friends and simon thought that and simon thought that if three creatures if three creatures as different as those could do it as different as those could do it well he and the dolphins could do it too he and the dolphins could do it too now last two paragraphs now they all swam together and played together and took care of one another now they all swam together and played together and took care of one another once in a while once in a while when the sun and the clouds when the sun and the clouds and the sea were just right and the sea were just right they would be lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the frog the raccoon and the great green alligator playing and dancing in the sand when the sun and the clouds and the sea were just right they would be lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the frog the raccoon and the great green alligator playing and dancing in the sand this story was told to me by a red breasted hairy headed knee walker that i know this story was told to me by a red breasted hairy headed knee walker that i know you may not believe him you may not believe him but i do but i do i have never known i have never known a red breasted hairy headed knee walker to tell a lie i have never known a red breasted hairy headed knee walker to tell a lie adapted from d a tony siango's story by the same name adapted from d a tony siango's story by the same name so let's see so my dear students i hope you enjoyed today's session you enjoyed our reading so we will meet in our next session with the new topic with the new topic of fa2 exams revision okay regarding today's topic if you are having any doubts feel free to message me on my whatsapp number we will meet in the next session till then take care of yourself bye bye